Welcome back to another episode from the Debate Room Podcast, episode 112. We are here from you after Monday Night Football to recap week one of the NFL. Uh, NFL season is finally here, regular season play, no more preseason ball. Um, so we have a loaded show for you guys, a lot of topics. Uh, we're going to start off with a Monday Night Before reaction, and then we're going to recap some of the games from um, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday as well. Uh, we got some week one overreactions, which we like to do every year. Um, and then we'll uh, do our week uh, two power rankings. So after every week, we'll do a power rankings uh, segment as well. And then we're going to grade some rookie debuts because we have a few of those, too. that are pretty interesting. Um, before we get into it, can I ask my co-host, how, how our day went? How was the day? Uh, how was the weekend watching football? Uh, any surprises? You know, how was we going? Because I know it was a lot less touchdowns, a lot less scoring than normal. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of defense, a lot of stopping quarterback play, a lot of sloppy offense. Um, how was y'all weekend? Yep. You know, shit was cool. I was chilling, laid back, relaxed, whole slate of games. Nothing that I ain't already foreseen happened for me. I felt a lot of what I said kind of got validated. So I'm chilling. Um MSU football won. That was a fun ass win on Saturday. The Bears probably won in the worst way possible. Um great win. Happy we won. Happy that our defense locked in for us. But I'm not nervous for Caleb because I think that isn't – we'll get into it later. That is an overreaction to completely, oh, my gosh, Caleb. Right, like, it's one game. Let him play more than one game. Like, let's let's take a breather. But that was not the greatest first game he could have, obviously. So, um, but besides that, one, two of my fantasy games. So, we're hyped. All right, let's get into our Monday Night Football reaction. Obviously, uh, the game just shortly ended. 49ers really dominated this one after, uh, like, the midway through the first quarter. It was really one-sided. Um, ran the ball a lot. Dominated both sides of the line of scrimmage. Um, blew out blew out the uh, the Jets. The, the score looked much closer than what the game was, for sure. Um, what was your guys' reaction and takeaways from, from this game? Um, I'll go first. I feel like I have the least amount of stake in this game. Uh the Jets need to work through their issues. The Jets need to figure out who they are offensively and defensively. They were getting manhandled on that on that defensive line. Um, Sauce was injured for a little bit of the first half, I thought. Um, so he was out for a couple plays here and there. But offensively, just looked out of sync. Um, the two picks – sorry, the one pick. Um, the other one was the fourth down uh, – the fourth down didn't convert. Um, again, it's like San Fran still has a good defense. Um, it's not like they're supposed to be down this defense up. San Fran still does have a solid defense. Um, but it just they couldn't establish the run game. Aaron Rodgers looked a little out of sync. Um, the Latif, I don't disagree, but it just was not if I'm a Jets fan, I didn't see enough to be like, okay, this is the season, right? Like, and again, it's it's all game one, but there was just nothing to seem like that it was really firing on all cylinders. So the passing game didn't look great uh great. The running game didn't look great. And you were getting killed by a team without CMC. Trent Williams went down. I don't know how serious that is. Juwan Johnson also got injured. So for San Fran, just more injuries to add to what they already have. But um, as a whole, I think it's kind of how a lot of us expect it to go. Um, we all expected San Fran to win. I think the way that they won was a little different. Um, they did just look like they dominated the game on both sides of the ball. So um, the only issue I take away from it is San Fran spent a lot of time on the Jet side of the field, and Jake Moody had six field goals. So they do need to convert those into touchdowns going forward. Um, and I guess, like, the Jets' defense is still good, even though they got, whatever, kind of got beat up in the, in the trenches and everything. But San Fran, that, it's a good enough defense to where, like, you should, like, you got to be doing a little bit better in scoring those touchdowns. But um, that's about it. I mean, I, I can't say I'm, like, surprised. I'm surprised with how poor the Jets looked at times, though. Go ahead, Chief. I mean, the Jets are going to be fine, to be honest. I mean, the 49ers are, at worst, a, a second-best team in the league. They're one of the best teams in the league. They have one of the best rockers in the league, some of the best coaching in the league. I'm not surprised that they lost. I picked the 49ers in their schedule prediction when we did it. I It was at home. I knew they were going to lose this game. Um, so I'm not surprised at the outcome at all. Uh, the Jets have obvious issues uh, for sure, which we knew that coming into the season, that they had obvious issues. No team is, is flawless at all. Um, but – as far as uh, Aaron Rodgers' first game back, um, it was his first game back. So, of course, he's going to be rusty. He missed the whole entire season. So, I think people got to take that into account when they evaluating his performance. To me, he looked fine. Um, the interception 
um, that Lenore tipped. That was a great play by him. I don't think um, it was a bad read. He, I think he could have put it more towards the sideline a little bit. Uh, but that was, a, all in all, a great uh, pass pickup and then a great awareness by the defender to pick it off. Um, the running game was slow, definitely to start uh, for sure. Um, got it going a little bit uh, midway through the game, but it was at that point it was too late, um, and, and they just had to pass the ball. Um, they're still establishing chemistry um, for sure. Aaron Rodgers um, hasn't played for this team yet. He didn't play in preseason. So for them to come out here in week one and be one of the best teams in the league, no one should have expected that. I didn't expect that. But – my outlook on that season, I think they're going to be fine. Uh, we didn't see, we didn't see Mike Williams, um, Hassan Reddick is, did not play. I think the defense is going to be much better uh, from on a week to week basis. They're going to be a top five unit. That this doesn't change that at all. Again, the 49ers are going to be one of the best offenses in the league. They're one of the best teams in the league, um, and they're not going to be playing teams of this talent level um, throughout the season. They have the easiest schedule, a second easiest schedule in the league this season. So, am I worried about their about them uh, throughout the season? No, this didn't really change much anything for me. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to overreact to this game at all. Uh, if we, even if we were doing an overreaction um, segment and we wanted to do the, the Jets, I wouldn't have a much a crazy overreaction because not only is this what I expected um, from the team as far as maybe not uh, the process, but the outcome of them losing the game, definitely expected that. Um, but I'm just not really worried about them, their season, because they lost to the 49ers on the road and, and Aaron Rodgers' first game back. So, yeah, that's, that's all I really got to say about it. Yo, you funny as hell, yo. <laughs> you just don't know how to be objective. Like you just I, don't know I, how to do it. I, what what did I say? What did I say in that in, in that well, that wasn't objective? Listen, it's cool, it's whatever. I ain't gonna harp too crazy. You seen what I was saying in the Discord, you seen on the timeline. I'm, I'm pretty 50 50 on the Jets. I don't got no hate for the Jets, so I could I mean I could be real. The this the issues that I stated that the Jets have, you've seen on full display tonight. You are right, though. They're not going to face a team of this caliber pretty much 90% of the rest of the season, which is cool. That way you could beat up on lesser talented teams. The real story about this is they don't got good coaching, and there's a significant talent gap and talent overhyping of the Jets. Outside of their top six to eight players, it's a steep drop off to what's actually productive play on the Jets. And we like people seem to ignore that because they got Aaron Rodgers and the defense played well for seven to eight weeks until it fell off because they got tired of always carrying the team. And that's usually what happens. It's looking like same thing happened today. Couldn't run the ball. They're getting uh, really going in the past game. Defense get tired. Then a, a team like the 49ers comes in and abuses them. Like They have a lot of time to work on it. It just it might be bumpy in the beginning, and that's why I have them as a 9-8 and team because they still have some things to work out between not having good coaching and not having the talent per se on a, like the level of other teams. They're going to probably be in some dog fights, and they might lose some close games. That's just what it is. This is a next-year team, not a right-now team. Well, I just think for their adjustment period, period, which is like probably the first five games of the season, I don't have them as a 98 team. I have them winning this division because – when they're needing to make this adjustment and when they need to um, grow together, get commission together as an offense, uh, possibly get possibly get a sign ready back on the field, stuff like that, um, and get Mike Williams on the field. Their, their schedule is the Titans, who who have a great defense, um, a good defense, whatever you want to say, but their, their quarterback play is uh, abysmal. Uh, we'll talk about that later. They're going to be the, the Titans. Um, they're they're going to be the Titans. So they're going to be the Patriots. Um, they're going to be the Broncos. They're gonna be the Vikings, and the next test we they watch, have, we watch the Bengals. We watch the Bengals bro, face the Patriots, a better team, a, a better team, and lose. We see that happen. I don't, I don't. You say what? Do we just watch them lose to a better team and a better quarterback in the Bengals and a better wide receiver? I don't think. I don't think. Name? I don't think the Bengals are a better team than the Jets. I didn't have that. I had them as a better team going, coming into the season. Their defense is, is horrific. They can't stop the run at all. And your, your, your opinions. I'd rather go with general consensus on that. I don't think the general consensus is that the, like, the Bengals. The, the Bengals are a better team than the Jets. I don't think this general think consensus is the Bengals. It should be crazy or anything. I don't I think general, this team, but I'm pretty. I'm gonna ride with the better quarterback. The Bengals are a better team. The Patriots just beat them. That's fine. I don't think that I don't think the uh, general consensus is that that the uh, Bengals are a better team than the Jets. But even even, even then, um, I'm going to bank on the, the Jets beating the Patriots. Um, I think that's it, it at home too. Um, so yeah, um, this is Justin Perry. They have it coming up. They literally might go one, two, three, four, four and one. 
And then real test is at home against the Bills. So they're going to be fine when we're waiting to build chemistry uh, for this team. So I don't really have any concerns about them. Um, I mean, you pencil, you pencil in, in wins that yeah, historically they just I don't, don't get. I, I don't, like they don't, they historically bro, don't get wins against the Patriots. A team, bro, literally that's, just that's a much, a much better team than, than, than the past yeah, 10 years. Yeah, I don't know what yeah, we're doing. Yeah, whatever, quarterback, blah, blah, blah. We're using, we're using history, we're using history of them being trash when they're not now. Yeah, and they, they, they didn't look. They didn't look impressive today at all. I don't no, they're know playing. They're playing the 49ers. We're comparing the 49ers to the Patriots. But still, one of the but worst still, teams in the league. Hold, 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 stop, stop, I don't know what we're doing. We go the back same up, Patriots, the, the same worst team in the league that just took down a top five quarterback just now. The Bengals. We, 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 we go are literally not better. Are, are we just watched that. We go back on this because I think it was crazy right now. I don't. I don't. And just because they beat the Bengals, don't mean they're going to beat the Jets. It's that's just not how it works. And that game is at home. Sure, but the Patriots always beat the Jets. So there's two things going against Bro, them. Bro, they always beat the Jets. Always beat the Jets. I don't know why we're using that. We're using history. We're using history. We're using history. We're using history. We're using history of a team that's literally not the same. This is a much different team than what they've been in the, in the past 10 years. Uh, the, 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 the Patriots had Tom Brady and all the other shit. Like, that just makes no sense. We're using history they that has no bearing year. on this. They beat they beat last year. Uh, with Zach Wilson. Tom Brady. With Zach Wilson. With Zach Wilson, bro. Like if the quarterback play is not gonna that, be like, that bad. Aaron Rodgers play, you, you say that like Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers played. Well. Aaron Rodgers played. Aaron Rodgers played. Yeah. You want to say bad? Cool. Have it bad against one of the best defenses in the league in his first game back. That's that's not gonna be the, the same thing against the Patriots. Well, hold on. It's not. Hold on. Can I say one thing quick? Because I think we've said from the podcast a couple times. Let's see if I think it's you. I don't know, but we do talk about like San Francisco is a good defense, but they have injuries. Their O line is not the greatest thing in the world. And they made the Jets look bad. Like I think they're I, one of the I, best teams in the league. Yes or no? I, they're, yes, they're, teams, yes. Teams, they were in the Super teams, Bowl. Teams, they were in the teams. Super Bowl last but, year. But what did you expect? I did not expect the 49ers O line, which has holes besides Trent Williams, and Trent Williams got injured at the end of the game. End of the game, third quarter, whatever. But like they dominated. What would you say is like the Jets' best part of their defense? Their front seven solid. No, no it yeah. isn't. Bro, they are missing Hassan already for one. Is it two, not good? They're front, they're front, it's, it's Quinn and Williams. They live off their secondary off, the whole time. Off, drop off Jermaine Johnson. They, 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 have, it, they, have, they have a they have a they have a they have a great overall defense. They have a great overall defense. Am I, am I surprised that the one of the the best damn near second best? I'll give it to Ravens. The best running team was able to run under them. No, I'm not. I'm not really surprised, bro. That's the that's a, the 49ers bread and butter. This is an elite team. I'm not going to use this game as evidence of why they're going to struggle against far lesser opponents um, in, this, in this next five-game stretch. That's, I'm just not going to do that at all. And it's, it was Aaron Rodgers' first game back. They could not get anything in, uh, uh, to go in the run again at all. They had no good chemistry outside of Aaron Rodgers and Gary Wilson um, connection for them. I don't know if Mike Wilson is going to be back uh, next week. Um, he played a little bit. Um, he's back, but he's, he's on a snap count or whatever. Um, I expect Reese Hall to be much better. Um, next week, I don't. He had a very bad performance uh, today for, me, for his standards. So I'm not going to use the same. I'm not going to use a game against the, one of the best teams in the league, a top three team in the league, to evaluate this team in a five game stretch when they're playing far interior, inferior com- uh, competition. And and if if I am, I'm going to be confident in, in winning them games. I'm not going to pick them them to lose against the Jets. I'm not going to pick them to lose against the, uh, the Titans, who have again terrible quarterback play. We just saw that we just saw them struggle in the second half against a defense. I think that's not better than the Jets. So, if Aaron Rodgers is better, which I think he will be in, in week one, uh, week two, if their the defense is going to be better, a lot better against a far worse offense. Yes, I had him beating the Titans. Yes, I had him beating the Patriots because um, I think that the Patriots, I mean, the Jets are a much better be, uh, defense than what the, the, the Bengals provide. The Bengals defense is trash. Um, they're terrible in the passing game and the running game. So, it, that's t- stuff like that matters. They they beat a be- they beat a a a, uh, a better quarterback in Joe Burrow, uh, sure. Uh, but the Bengals defense was terrible. The Bengals defense is terrible, and the Jets are not going to look as bad as they did today. I guess a far worse offense in the Patriots. It's so much stuff you got to talk about when we talk about matchups. It's not oh they just beat the Bengals. Oh, so they're going to be able to beat the Jets. I don't think the Jets and the Bengals are. I think the Bengals are not better uh, good a team as the Jets for one and their defense. Is terrible, which is going to favor the Jets in a potential matchup against the uh, the Patriots. So again, it's just not like one on one because they beat the Bengals. Um, that's, I'm not really scared of that at hey, all. Dang, you you talking a whole lot. You you gonna keep doing this 
this whole little always gonna be optimistic shit for the Jets. We can it's not about it's not it's not being yeah, optimistic. Hey, hey, bro, it's, not, it's, it's, I'm, it's not being optimistic. I, I sold you out like like two minutes it's, ago, bro. You could you could go to the next one. It's really not being optimistic because I'm I have to beat the Patriots. That's not that's not being optimistic. I'm, I'm, I'm like, off the, I'm like, off like bro, that's 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 ridiculous. Like I'm off me, that. I'm off I'm, being optimistic is, is you're the right, Patriots. You're right. You're right. You're I right. am. You're right. I really you're am right. though. You're right. That's For usual, like always. Go ahead. Like, bro, that's wow. Being, me being optimistic is being the Jets. Go ahead, I mean, the Patriots. Bro. You you always right. You got it, Max. Do you do you think I'm being optimistic for saying they're gonna be the Patriots? That's being optimistic. No, it's not. They're gonna be heavily favored. Um, you got it, bro. You, you got all the answers, gang. I'm, I'm just here. And then it's like, I'm being optimistic. Then if that's the case with them, you being, you still going. I'm not. Missing. I'm not even arguing. You arguing with yourself right now, bro. Because people, you first you came into the podcast saying that I wasn't being you objective. Arguing with which you, you st- I, it don't I, matter. You don't gotta explain yourself. I can I can talk as much as I want though. Go, what I'm go, saying, go. what what You're I'm right. saying this, is this all you and yours. That's, go that's ahead. cool. That's cool. You came into the podcast saying I was wasn't being objective. Nothing I said in my in my whole argument was being not objective. I wasn't being biased or nothing like that. I picked the 49ers to win this game. I said that the the, the Jets defense was terrible, but when we're comparing them to lesser opponents in the next five games, I'm being optimistic because I have them going four and one. It's not optimistic. It's gonna be much easier matchups. I mean, that's just common sense. So well, when, well, when, I get I uh, I get both sides because what you're saying is, what do you have to show for that? All you gotta show for it is they did not play good in this game. The Patriots did play good against a better quarterback with Cincinnati. Am I wrong, Q, or am I right? Am I with you? It don't even matter, bro. Uh, I mean, I guess so. I'm, I'm people people could just say stuff about you and you can't defend yourself. That's that's all I'm doing. I was being optimistic. That ain't the whole time. what it is. You you said that I wasn't being objective, so I, I I literally explained to that ain't what it is at why all. I was being objective. It is that ain't what it is at all. We we can move on though. Um what else we got? I mean, that was that was I guess our, our Monday night football uh recap. Um just to be fine. Uh talking about the games that happened on I think this was Thursday night football, Chiefs Arise uh versus Ravens. This is a very close now. I wasn't I mean the Chiefs I think controlled the game for a, a lot of the time. Uh, Ravens made a late push. Lamar Jackson wheeled the Ravens down the field uh, late in the game. Made some very, very uh, heroic plays down the stretch. Um, last few plays, he missed uh, Isaiah Likely in the end zone. Um, he missed, uh, I think that was uh, Zay Flowers in the end zone. And then, obviously, Isaiah Likely wasn't able to get his feet down um, in the back of the end zone. Um, what What is your concern level uh, with the Ravens um, offense? I think struggled a little bit. And our, and our defense um, definitely struggled a little bit this game. What was your concern level um, with the with the Ravens after week one, Max? Um, to be honest, I, I'd say um, I'm not really. I um, I still have the Chiefs beat the Ravens like in a playoff game. I don't think my mindset's really changed on them as a whole. Um, can they still beat the Chiefs? Sure. I think they can have the people, uh, the personnel to beat the Chiefs. Lamar just has to play a great game. They have the defense to beat the Chiefs. Lamar just has to take over and play the game. And they need to dominate um, time possession. They need to run the football down the throat. They need to take the game very slow because you can't let Mahomes get all up in everything and throw the football down the field and get excited or whatever. Like, you need to control the pace of the game with offense, with the defense. You need to control the line of scrimmage, like, on both sides of the ball. Um, Put more pressure on Mahomes as much as you can. And, again, like, you can do all that, and Mahomes could still go out and beat you. But, like, as far as the Ravens goes, like, I think they're the best chance to beat them. Um, I don't, like, I think it's pretty consensus. And if you just put it in a a, a, a playoff matchup, the whole season's through already. It's an AFC championship. I'm still probably going to pick, obviously, the Chiefs. So it's like, do they have a chance to get over the hump? Sure. Will they? I don't think so. At least not right now. Um, Derrick Henry. Uh, I think it was kind of like he was getting stuffed sometimes, which is not great. Um, it didn't look as dynamic. I think as he was fast. Um, Isaiah Likely is like the whatever feature uh, offensive skill position player in that offense. It looks like after week one, um, we'll see if that keeps up. Probably not. But like, I just I don't know. It's Mahomes. They just find a way to win every single game, um, no matter what it is. So it's just like as far as long as Mahomes, Mahomes, like 
I don't know really what I can do to believe another team's going to beat him. Um, so I, I think, I guess, again, like, I just think it's like, it's not a stupid question. The Ravens probably have the best chance in the league to beat Patrick Mahomes. And I still think they fall short as of right now. Uh, Q, do you, do you think the Ravens will be able to be, ever be able to get over the hump uh, against the Chiefs? They don't have to get over the hump against the Chiefs. The Chiefs are not going to go to the Super Bowl at, for 10 years straight. Somebody, nine times 10, is going to knock them off probably before that. There's probably going to be a time an injury is going to happen because they, they've had incredible injury luck. It's bound to happen. Or the moment Tyreek, I mean, Travis Kelsey retired, they're going to be a little bit vulnerable. Somebody's got to catch them. Maybe the Chargers do something and they win the division one time. There's going to be something that's going to allow the Chiefs to lose before the NC Championship game. And that's when it's the Ravens' time to strike. For the next 10 years, no team is probably going to go to the Super Bowl more than once outside of the Chiefs. So if you get there or you got the chance to get there, you have to win because it's not like a lot of opportunities to go around. And it's about eight teams that they think they can win the Super Bowl in the next five years. The Ravens, they probably are the best chance to win it or to beat them, but it's going to be hard to beat them. Like that defense is very, very, very good. Lamar still can't make some of the easy reads. Like he can make all the hard, hard throws, crazy throws. Sometimes all the, the easy things be too, I guess, he think too much of him on. He just missed him because he's waiting for something else to happen. Maybe he's thinking it's 2019 again and then he don't really have receivers and he can't really anticipate. Who knows? But if he still can't make those easy throws, he's not going to be able to beat the Chiefs. I'm not overly concerned um, over concerned at all with the Ravens, to be honest. I think they still would, at this point, be my AFC championship pick unless uh, – we go through a few weeks and then stuff changes, but uh, there are some concerns. Um, everybody has concerns. Um, and if I had to point, point, pinpoint those, um, the, the offense line didn't look as good as they usually do in, in previous years, for sure. Um, Derek, Derek Henry was getting, you talked about him getting stuff, Max. He was getting touched a lot before he hit the line of scrimmage um, in this game, uh, for sure. Um, Lamar was a little bit off, especially in the beginning of the game, as far as a passer, uh, missing, a, missing a lot of reads um, and like overthrowing and stuff like that. But when down the stretch, uh, he turned it on. That's um, flowers. That's, that Zay Flowers though play at the end of the game. That was bad. I miss, but oh. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, it's much, much controversy about that play. If it was a miscommunication and stuff like that. Uh, oh, okay. okay. I, I think though they was all, like their offensive line was also getting like allowing Lamar to be under pressure a lot too. And now he was escaping it like Lamar does. Uh, but I think their offensive line is definitely going to be um, something to follow uh, as far as like this this season. And if that's something that I had to take away from that game, then it would be like uh, we got to see how the offensive line play. Because they did lose a lot of starters, um, got some new guys in there, and we got to see how they uh, get their chemistry together and um, improve over the season. I think um, also what's, uh, what's, what's Nate Wiggins. Nate Wiggins looked amazing uh, in, in week one. He, he played, played pretty well. He wasn't even targeted a lot either. And when he was, I think he allowed one reception. Am I mistaken? Might have been less than that. Um, for the Chiefs, what I, what I see for the Chiefs, I mean – I think Rashi Rice, Rashi Rice, Rashi Rice, Rashi Rashi Rice. Rashi Rice. <laughs> Rashi is crazy. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> Pat Mahomes, he, he's going to be feasting this year. Yeah, Obviously, I mean, they, like, if that's anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So they got they got Xavier Worthy to stretch the field. Uh, Hollywood Brown come back and stretch the field. So everything underneath for Rashi is going to be there. Uh, Kelsey didn't have a good game, but over the season, you know, stuff going to be there for him. Uh, running game looked all right as well. But check the check look, look, check looks odd. Yeah, their offense looks shaky, to, to be honest. And I think the fact that they, they scored 27 points uh, without Hollywood Brown and their offense uh, not being at the par, Mahomes not being at the par, uh, is definitely, for me, it, it has them uh, comfortably as uh, the number one contender in the AFC for me still. Nothing's changed for them. I think they are a tier above any, any team in the AFC because of what they were able to do with, with not being on the A game and not having Hollywood Brown, who I think is still going to be able to make a difference. Um, and and Travis Kelsey not having a good game as well um, is notable for sure. Um, did you have any other takeaways from the Chiefs, Max? No, I thought the uh, – I'll be excited to see what happens with Hollywood Brown and the team. I agree. Um, I think he can add another level to that team. All right, let's move on to the Eagles uh, and Packers. This was, this was an exciting game for, for a, a, a bevy of reasons. I mean, it was pretty sloppy, but it was still uh, 34-29, so high scoring. Um Q, talk to me about the Eagles' offense and what uh, what you saw for them um, in week one. Keep skipping over me, pussy. Bro, you you're not you even didn't on, even you're not, make yourself known. Exactly. You did not I didn't make know. yourself known. 
Nobody even know what you what you doing, uh, Jaden. Like, shut what, up, bro? nigga. Yeah. Literally, you you could have brought me up this whole time. I was sitting in the in the backstage the whole time. You can't you, you can't join the you can't join the uh no the I was on my like phone. you do all the time. I was on my How? phone. I called you like three times. What are you talking about? Yeah, you were calling me while I was on backstage, and I texted you. No, how how is how much to know that you next topic? How, how, how am I supposed to know that you're next you're on your topic. phone and not computer? Like, bro, next topic. You, interrupt, you interrupted the, the 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 podcast for what, bro? That was next topic. Anyways, Q, like I said, um, what was your 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 takeaway from the Eagles' offense and week one? They were not good. Outside of Saquon Barkley, they were not good. Don't don't look at no yards like nothing. Jalen Hurts still doing the same Jalen Hurts things. He was better against the blitz thanks to Kellen Moore. He did some good things. Used a little motion, did some things, but Jalen Hurts is still doing the same things. When in doubt, trying to chuck it to A.J. Brown. Chuck it here, chuck it there, throwing picks, fumbling the ball. It just wasn't a good showing. Like, unlike. The win is gonna like I guess mass all that. Like I said earlier, they have enough talent that they're gonna win games. But it's like the win doesn't mean like don't look at how like what's going on. And if you watch the game, like they didn't look good on offense. And that Green Bay Packers defense wasn't even good. Like that, I don't know how that Jeff Halfley addition like I just still looks kind of the same like last year. And the the defense still the same same defense still can't really get no real pressure. Quinn Mitchell looked great, but everybody else is, was garbage. He's like the best, they, they best, best DB that day. You, for, uh, you mean uh, as far as still can't cover? Did you mean everybody looked garbage in, as far as the secondary? Yeah, or outside of Quinn, everybody was okay. not good. Like he was, they pretty much their best player yesterday. Like it's still a work in progress. Everything I said is pretty much still going on, but again, the talent is going to still propel them to get you know wins. Max. Um, it was a bad game, obviously, on Jalen Hurts' part. Um, it'll go down as a good win because you beat the Packers. But, like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a gutsy win. Like, not much, I feel like, was um, to be super excited about, just the fact that you won the game in the first place. Uh, the big takeaway is Jordan Love. Um, obviously, Jordan Love getting injured for however long he is injured derails the Packers' season. Um, and in a, what could be a tight playoff race, that last wild card spot, last two wild card spots. Um, you need Jordan Love for as many games as you can get him. So I think the Eagles obviously will take this win for sure. Run with it. Say they beat the Packers, where the Packers are a solid team. Um, Packers lost, and not only lost, but lost their quarterback for and whatever. Is it four games, five games? Three, Three to six. six. Okay. So I assume they're going I assume they're going IR though, so probably lose for four at least. Um and that could potentially derail their season if it puts them a couple games behind other contending playoff teams. Um, because I do think it'll be a game or two away with uh, Chicago, the Rams, if the Seahawks do something, if whoever, Tampa, uh, Minnesota, whoever contends for that last spot, whatever team it could be. So, Yeah, that's a good take. Uh, we, we was going to talk about that. Uh, I'm going to bring it up later uh, as well when we talk about them because um, they do have uh, a, a decent, decently tough schedule in the next five games. But um, – for me, for me in this game, um, I think the Eagles' Super Bowl hopes or getting back to the Super Bowl is going to is going to rely all on Jalen Hurts. Um, they do have the talent to win games in the regular season. Um, they're going to need him to elevate this team come playoff time, and he did everything he could to give the game to the Packers. He was terrible uh, throwing the ball. His reading the field was terrible. He did actually do good uh, when he got blitz, but it was just too many mistakes. Um, against a, a, a Packers defense that's still finding itself, they did get they did just get a new defensive coordinator who I think ran a lot more man, and I think that was the difference uh, uh, from last year. They ran more man in this game, but again, AJ Brown just cooked it. Devontae Smith just cooked it because they had like Eagles had the receivers where you can't just run man against them because they had the receivers that can be able to separate or just overpower you. Uh, so for me, for me, uh, they also weren't able to stop the run, so which the Packers haven't been able to do for a long time. So, um but yeah, I think this team. I, I do think the Eagles are still good enough to make a run and make a Super Bowl. It's going to have to rely on um, on on Jalen Hurts. Kellen Moore did a much better job than what we saw Ben Johnson do um, to start the season last year in Week One. Um, he had really quick uh, outs for Jalen Jalen Hurts when he did get blitz. That's why he was good against the blitz. He evolved motion in his offense at sixty five percent 
in this game compared to 35% last year or uh, throughout the season. So he's made some changes that have been notable that were obvious. Uh, and I think he, um, he caught a lot more runs. Well, I mean, they, they ran the ball a lot last year, but it was intentional when they were running. They weren't just running in a first, second down. Um, they're throwing it. It was a lot more variety in their offense. And I think that's that could bode well for them. On defense, um, a lot of still concerns. Um, Quinion looking great. Um, the linebackers were – we're good as far as like stop uh like containing the run and stuff like that. Um Nicobe Dean, I think he had a good game, but as far as in coverage, they were giving up a lot of stuff. Um, uh, but they did they did shut off the middle of the field. Um Darius Lee did not have a good game. CJ, CJ Gardner Johnson did not have a good game. Um uh, so the secondary is still their biggest question. They didn't get a lot of pressure either. But I think actually the linebackers were a uh uh a bright spot as far as uh week one and Quinn was a bright spot as far as week one. Um but I haven't really they have a lot, I mean it's week one. Um Am I taking my pick for them making a Super Bowl after week one? No. Uh, I still think it can happen. It would just, it would just have to rely on Jalen Hurts um, elevating, which I, I, at this point, that's the part I'm worried about. Uh, him, him being able to do that is what, the part I'm worried about. Uh, Jalen, what was what your thoughts on the uh, um, Packers and Eagles game? Um, I didn't really uh, – I didn't get a chance to watch this game. Uh, I was at work, but I saw uh, – I was just looking at the stats. I saw that Saquon went off, but my brother was texting me and telling me that the, the Eagles offense didn't really uh, look up to par. Like they came out uh, pretty flat. So I don't really have too much to say about this game. Didn't really get to watch it, but um, everything is kind of checking out. Everybody was telling me that the offense wasn't that good. And then Q saying that um, Jalen Hurts was doing the same stuff. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have too much to say. All right, let's say Jordan Love misses five weeks with this injury. Let's predict the next five games for the Packers. First up, next I think, week. I think – oh, oh, you're going to say that. Yeah. Uh, next week, week two, they're, they're uh, at home versus the Colts. Oh. Malik Willis starting the game. I don't know. I, I don't know if, if he's out for the next five. It might I'm, be gonna, let's, I don't want to just assume five. It's, it's, I don't want to assume five, but we could we could just pick, like, assume he's not there. Yeah, yeah, that's a loss. That's a loss. Oh yeah, it's a loss. Okay. I think it's a loss. Okay. Um, week three on the road versus the Titans. Loss. I, I definitely I mean, think it's a loss. The Titans yeah. defense is look really really good. Um, yeah. so far this season, I think it'll be really really good this season. And Malik Woods is not going to be able to beat beat that, that team at all. Um, yeah, the that offense might be, that might be an L. It's it's at, it's at Tennessee. Yeah, it's at Tennessee. I think so too. Okay. Um. Week four at home versus the Vikings. The way Sam Darnold looking. That's an L. Thank you. Yes. Nah. I did say Sam Darnold was gonna be good this year. By the way, I did say Sam Darnold would be good, but you take it with a grain of because it's it's the Giants. I'm not gonna get too excited, but I did say Sam Darnold would be fine. I think if Malik Willis is I, if Malik Willis is starting and um, the Vikings are clicking on all cylinders against the Packers defense, who I think is still questionable, they definitely are gonna lose that game. So we would have them at that point. There it will be zero and four uh, through the first four weeks. Uh, week five, which I think Jordan Love probably will be back this week. But even if he is, I'm not gonna They're lie. losing either way. They're losing either yeah. way. <laughs> they yeah. on the road versus the, the Rams. I think he can lose. I think they can lose that game as well. So they might lose. That's, that's Yo, put yeah. a thousand on it that they go on for. I had, I had them losing that game yeah. regardless of Jordan Love. I, got, I didn't have the Packers being a great. I had them being like an eight nine one team. At, at you have best. you have you have been a nine win team. That's barring the Jordan Love injury, but you have been a nine win team. Exactly. Like, so this injury. I, 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 I wrote that. I wrote I had them losing this game regardless. I kind of had them losing like. The, I thought the, the Titans game was going to be 50 50 anyway because of the defense. And now they're looking like he, Sam Donald with the Vikings is looking fine. And TJ Hawkinson might be back. I know he, it, it's up in the air. You don't know. Titans yeah. defense don't move me for real. Um, um, that shit is really up for speculation, bro. Really, it's hard. We look. We, we can get in when we talk I'll about. I was we'll, we'll get we'll, we'll get into it in a sec. Let's talk about the Bears. I think the Packers season might be over, y'all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
seriously though, because I you can't. There's no way they start 0 and 4 with their schedule and, and uh, make the playoffs. It's just not. Yeah, they play. Uh, they play tough teams later down. All right, you got a sick on Buckley. Would you rather? I think he had, he had a great game, three touchdowns, uh, over 100 yards uh, from scrimmage. So I got a, uh, a couple names. We're gonna do a Saquon Barkley. Would you rather? First name up is Brees Hall. Saquon. Saquon Barkley. Like uh, this, this shouldn't be. This, come on. I can't. Brees I, I can't. isn't even like established for real. Like he's a great young back, but he's not like. He's not don't like take anybody room for the, Don't tell anybody room for the Jets that. I do. I do. Uh, want to let y'all know. I can't use a, the the TikTok or well, like clips that don't got y'all face on it. Um, cause it just, it doesn't show me anything. Um, can you, can you say, can you say, uh, Saquon. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Jaden, I don't know if you, I don't know. Saquon, bro. Okay. You're going to have to use this picture, bro. Um, next name up is B. John Robinson. Saquon. Come on, bro. What are we Not doing? Not changing. Not changing. Both two youngs. Okay. I mean. You gotta. It's not. It's when you look at the landscape, but the, the running backs. It's really not that many people. You know, you can really have conversations with him. To be honest. Um. Next name up is Derrick Henry. Saquon. Saquon. Pure rushing yeah. Derrick Henry better, but Saquon. He could run routes and he could catch like a, a slot wide receiver. Last name is gonna be Jonathan Taylor. Saquon. Saquon. I personally want to want Jonathan Taylor. I think it's close. Okay, I would take. I'll probably take Saquon. Do a threat ability. And he, I mean, what is J? What is JT in the in the in the pass game? He can catch. He's he's, he's not as good as Saquon, but I think. But they don't. They he's don't as use good as much, a do rusher, they? huh? They don't use him much in the pass game, right? Or no? But he's not like the best like pass game. Like he's he's decent, but he's like nowhere near Saquon. I Zach think he's Moss as good as a rusher. I think he Zach runs, Moss is like runs year, harder right? though. I think he runs harder, but you know. oh. Naheem Hines. Remember, they had Naheem Hines who would get uh, pass catching stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna add one more name. Last name. Um. CMC. 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 CMC but it's not. It, it's it's close. I don't That's think hard. it's a gap. Oh, I, don't think, I don't think it's a gap. Oh my god. I, I said CMC. CMC is better. Yep. CMC is better in the pass. Slightly. And. Saquon a better rusher. Saquon is a better runner. Mm. He's a better runner of the football. CMC he is. is he's a better pass ca- pass catcher and route runner, but I don't, it's not a, a major gap. And the CMC type impact comes with Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. The Eagles do not have that at all. Like they don't he, they don't have that. That's what gives you the extra boost. I, I think I think un, it would have been um like I think I say like a little bit under that. So I mean CMC had 21 touchdowns last year. I don't think he's gonna be come close to that. Um but maybe I don't know. Um, he could. He got three already. Technically, you're yeah, a baseball well, forty. True, true. I think like twelve would be would be twelve. I don't know. Based 12, on 15. what he looks like right now, they're probably gonna lean on him early. He's probably gonna get ten within the first like ten weeks. I like I already put like fifty dollars down for him to win offensive player of the year, even though that went against my pick. All right, next game up. Uh, Lions um, and Rams, uh, they've been having some classics, classics ever since. Did you skip? You know, did you skip the Bears? By the way, you have the Bears up next. I don't know. Oh, I might have skipped it. Oh, it's fine. It's next, but yeah, all the topics you. I don't see. know if you skipped or not. Oh yeah, we can talk about the Bears. We can talk about the Bears. I forgot to put them in a uh, topic list, but we can talk about them. I know y'all itching to talk about them, anyways. Um, let me just add it to the topic list, and we can, we can talk about them. Because I forgot that uh, that that Rams game was on Monday Night Football. That's why I had to um, – Sunday night Sunday, night. Sunday night. Sunday night football. Anyways, bro. Um, yeah, Jaden, go first. Defensively, defensively, I, I love I love what I saw. Um, literally, we won the game off of defense. Block punt, pick six. Um, offensively, we have some issues. The line is still terrible. Um, I'm not going to blame – I'm not going to put anything on Caleb because this is, it was his first game to come out there and get a win – um, uh, in your first game was incredible. Uh, he should have had a, a touchdown pass on on um, on the stats, but Keenan dropped the pass, which was crazy. Didn't expect Keenan Allen to drop that. But the O line like needs to be better. Like we couldn't we couldn't block anything. Um, I don't like 
I'm not going to say I don't like the play calling. I just didn't like the route combos. Like, I feel like it was times where it would be two, two, two receivers in, like, the same spot in a zone. Like, obviously, that's going to get boxed. Like, the, the route combos could have been better. Um, we could have put routes on the field that would have got Caleb into the flow of the game a little bit more. We have DJ Moore. We have Keenan Allen. Um, Rome looks pretty nice. We – Throw some slants out. Throw throw something out where it's just quick dink and dunk type passes just to get him in the flow of the game. So offense, that needs to be a little bit better. Um, the line needs to be better regardless. Like, that, that was terrible. It was pissing me off the whole game. But we have some playmakers on the defensive end. I feel like the defense is it's, it's Chicago football. The defense is always going to be good. The defense is going to win us some games. Now we just have to wait for Caleb to come into his own, make some plays. Um, I, people are, are trying to give him flat. Obviously, he should have threw the ball away when I think it was like a, what was it like a nineteen yard sack or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah nineteen. Yeah, he should have threw the ball away, but I don't know. Like, it looked good, bro. <laughs> it looked good. It looked good, but he definitely needs. That's just growing pains. Like, obviously, he was doing stuff like that in in USC. So, um, and the def- while the defense did look great, we definitely won that game because Will Levis is just garbage. I'm gonna be honest, because <laughs> nobody, nobody else is is throwing, is, is making throws and making reads like that. Like it was, that was just, it was just stupid. We got bailed out because Will Levis is trash. Um, the defense on the Titans, I'm not, I'm not worried about them. I, I just think that it was just an offensive line type issue. But yeah, that's just that's my takeaways. Uh, you'll be going next. Yeah, go Bears. All the Bears fans. Uh, oh, I think you still a Bear fan, so y'all, y'all should go. Um, I agree, Jaden. Uh, I'm not that mad at Caleb. It's his first game. Obviously, I don't think anyone was asking him to have three touchdowns, 200 yards, perfect, complete. Like, it was gonna be. I think it was gonna be shaky. I didn't think it was gonna be that shaky though. Um, I, I get what Jaden's saying about the route trees, but he had open people. Like Caleb was just missing throws here and there, but he had guys who were open. Um, He's abysmal. I'm that. He's abysmal. Huh? It's okay to say. He's abysmal. I I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about our offense as a whole. Guys were getting open at times, right? There were open plays. It was just Caleb was just missing the ball. So um, on that aspect, that was cool. At least people were getting open. At least there are plays there. He just got to learn to throw with the NFL speed to deal with NFL defenses. The run game, on the other hand, was ass. That shit was terrible. Um, I agree the O-line was not good. Um, DeAndre Swift just he was getting stuffed. It was just not looking good at all. Uh Travis Homer, I think, had the longest run of the game for us. Um it just wasn't good. The defense saved us in the end, obviously. But even at the start, Tony Pollard was killing us. He was um, cooking. That, he second, was looking like that prime second play, Pollard. that second drive. He had like fifty yards in one drive. Tony Pollard was killing us. Darryl Line was killing us. Will Levis was tricking me in the first half. He was playing competent enough. Um but, yeah, I mean, the Bears win the way the Bears are supposed to win on paper, and that's through their defense, uh, through making turnovers. Um, the Jonathan Owens um, block punt, the Jonathan Owens block punt touchdown. Uh, no idea why Will Levis threw that ball, but Tariq Stevenson obviously getting that one too. Um, it, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, Cairo Santos was balling. He didn't do anything wrong. He was hitting his stuff. Um, but, yeah, I mean, going forward, if we can have the defense play like that, and Caleb can just elevate his plays because again, you got the Keenan Allen drop pass, you got the Keenan Allen overthrow. Like those are two touchdowns. Back, you know what I mean? Like those are two more touchdowns you can add to the tally. So again, that's a blowout at that point in time. So uh, just look at the game differently. Like if you add, t- if you tack on two more touchdowns, if you play better on the offense side of the ball, um, it's a completely different story. But yeah, Caleb's Caleb just got to learn how to deal with NFL defenses. Um, I don't think. I I don't yeah I don't. I'm not going to rate him off this one game. So, yeah, it was a bad first game. But, like, I Q, can't sum up the season from that. Q, I want to I ask you something because you were very high on the Bears. Um, after week one, Q, my fact, let me say it like this. Q, you picked the Bears to make the NFC Championship game, right? Yes. After week one, do you feel any differently based on what you saw? I said that with an asterisk if they traded for a D lineman. That's okay. one. But a D lineman hasn't killed me yet. The defense, again, it's it's 50-50. They played well, but Will Levis was cheeks. 
Oh my God. He was so bad. He was so bad. It was crazy. Bro didn't even decide to go stop the pick six. He just <laughs> went to his knees. Something crazy. Yo, that was Mr. crazy. Mr. Mayonnaise Man himself. I don't know why you even did that. Like he knew he did something dumb. The game was in their hands the whole time. This was a had upset written all over it. I was telling them like that this not as a, a easy lot game as you think. I didn't I didn't think it was so far gone that they was gonna win this game anyway. Caleb ain't do too much. There was a lot of things happened that like they, his stat line could have looked better. Like if Keenan Allen you know, catches the touchdown, it looks better. DJ Moore on, on that on that uh that rollout, if he somehow catches that, it boosts it up. Now he's looking at about 140, 150 touchdown. Maybe they get a field goal. Maybe they do th- something on offense, but this is straight defense and special teams and taking advantage of a bad quarterback. I don't know. Like, at least they got the W. Uh, next week is going to be a lot harder. They, they, Caleb's actually going to have to do something. Uh, I don't, it's hard to take away. It's, you know, it's week one. You got some time. Play calling has to get better. They didn't do nothing easy. Uh, they sh- I don't know why they weren't like you know doing more run thing, more screen play. Well, they did a lot of screen play. They started off. They like started off. Hmm? They started off. They started off trying to make it easy for them. They started off trying to make it easy for them for sure. And they just went away from it. It's like they decided to try to show them off instead of like you know calling a clean game plan. The O line didn't help either, but you know it's some things that you know coaching can fix easily and make it a lot more manageable for a rookie quarterback, regardless if he's a generational prospect or not. For me, um, I mean, it was it's obviously great that, you know, the Bears got the win for sure, uh, especially with, with how bad they play. And I think when you look at it like that, you can look up that the team has some upside. But um, I think that I, I think, you know, with, with it being week one, you got to temper your expectations. You can't, you know, overreact. We're going to do we're going to overreact a little bit later. But like, I don't know if this is overreaction, but I think this the interior offense line is it, it, it's it's gonna be bad the whole season. Like those players are just are not good. They just not the center. The center is terrible. Like it was he's bad. Um, probably should have addressed that if y'all could have in um in a, in a off season. Um, as far as Caleb, um, I mean, he's I think he's still somewhat raw. Uh, he's still he's somewhat still still somewhat raw. We know what you know the, the talent he has, uh, but his footwork was a little bit sloppy. Um, he was kind of like um, not stepping up in the pocket and making throws, and that's and that's partially because you know the offensive line was so bad. Um, and I think it's it's really hard for a rookie quarterback to just step up in the pocket and make throws with with that bad of an offensive line. Um, he he wasn't really targeting the middle middle of the field really well. Uh, I think he's, he got a few balls batted. Uh, he definitely missed that touchdown to Cannon Allen on that um on, on that I think post route. And he also had DJ Moore on a crosser. I went back and watched the film. He had DJ on a crosser. He never really turned his eyes. Uh, he was he was locking on Reeds a little bit as well. Um, really bad performance from him. But I mean, I don't think he's gonna be like that the entire season. He'll get better. Um, I think I had him as like uh, Kyler Murray as rookie season, and Kyler Murray wasn't you know great um, every weekend, weekend week out. Uh, so um, Keenan Allen did all good. He was gonna wash allegations, and I don't think I don't think people was trolling. Um, but Roma Duze also got hurt, so that's uh something to note as well. I mean, every every Bears receiver got hurt in that game. Roma Duze yeah. don't want to go down with the MRI though. The defense, I think, get an MRI. The defense, I think, is gonna be good. Uh, got two good linebackers. Uh, got two good uh, corners. Uh, got a good good pass rusher. Um, for Safety. sure. I like Jaquan and Kyler. Jaquan and Kyler, I like both of them. Um, but I don't think gonna be elite. I just think it's like the Titans' offense was. Is terrible and, and Will Levis is you know insane. So uh kind of like boost him a little bit. Um we got the real test is next week against the Texans. If they play well against the Texans, that will move me. That's a that's a high power offense, then I'll get moved a little bit. But I do think the defense is gonna be probably like uh top ten, uh top twelve, something like that. Um that's like that's great and at least they have the corners to match up with the Texans. No, uh, they do and, and the safeties in my opinion. Yeah, they like, they have the DB room to match up with the Texans. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, they kind of did, you know, bad stopping the run last, uh, last game. So I mean, Joe Mixon, he had a good game. Hurt. He had a good game. Start. I don't know. So we gotta see. Um, Towards the end of the game, we were doing good. We were doing great against Durant at the start. Yeah, it was yeah. just rocky. 
They do definitely have the uh, corners uh, to match up. I want to see if Tariq, Tariq Stevenson continues to improve uh, in his second year in the league. But um, Stefan Diggs is a tough cover. Nico Collins is a tough cover. Uh, Tank Dale is, is, can do can do damage. So I, I think Texas can find some uh, some some success. But we'll see. Um, that'll be the real test for them as far as how we're going to rank that defense this season. Um, that's all you guys got, Bears fans, about about the. Uh, about the, about to be honest, the there's not much. To, there's not much to say, but the defense won the game for us. Will Levis being bad won the game for us, and we'll see Caleb next week. That's just true. Got it. You know, great win though. Um, Lions. Where I was going first, Lions beat Rams in overtime thriller. Um, they've had some really, some really really good games uh, as of late. Uh, let's talk about the Puka injury. How do you think that's going to affect the Rams offense going forward? He's going to be out for the next four weeks. He's on IR. Uh, how do you think that's going to affect their offense? Anyone, anyone can go at this point. It's going to be 20, 2021 all over again. Cooper Cup going to get 15 targets a game. That's he probably going to rely on. I mean, they got a run game now, so they can still hand it off to Kyron. Uh, they're going to make use of the tight ends. I don't think the offense is going to be too, like Mr. B, too crazy. They was running Puka last year without Cup for, for stretches. Now you're doing it with Cup. Cup seems to be healthy. I don't think they're going to really be that much of a fall off. I would agree as well. Uh, we, we've seen them do this before. Sean McVay um, is a genius. And I think they also got that, uh, that another, like, fifth-round pick type of dude. Um, I forgot it. I don't even know his name, to be honest. But uh, I see he was going crazy in the preseason. Tyler, uh, I think uh, it's Tyler something. Johnson? No, 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 no. Not Tyler Johnson. He got, a, like, oh, a I know. last name. He's like number eighty-eight or something like that. It's oh, weird, eighty-eight. Weird he only got. Yeah. He was playing special teams more than he was running. He only played like a couple snaps on offense. He was playing. He was like a gunner for a long time. Um, uh, I think, uh, whatever. Someone else is gonna have to fill in that next spot. So whoever that is, um, they're just gonna have to find what is it? they. They still have Demarcus Robinson, right? Yeah. Who's and then who's the other receiver? I think they have a Tyler Johnson. I don't know why. Yeah, no, nah, that, that's the, that's the dude. That's the okay. The so Tyler dude. Johnson too. Yeah, like seven, so I think like, like eighty yards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got to figure out something there. Um, Kyron obviously be used more than that offense. I think uh, whatever I, they'll figure it out. They just need to find someone else to get um, a bulk of the targets um, because obviously they're going to want to air the ball out as much as possible with Stafford. That O line is banged up though. That O line is banged no, up it, bad. So it it's like Matt, you can't establish around with how bad that O line is looking right now. Matt Stafford's going to have to you know really really elevate. Uh, and he did in this game, uh, especially in the second half. I think he had three hundred yards, uh, backup but some of tackles. The, but yeah, some of the some of the throws Stafford made were just not Stafford throws, and like it wasn't even timing. Like that pick was bad. Um, the fourth down with Cooper Cup bad. Like just some of those plays, just not like Matthew Stafford plays at all. I mean, I, I think he was stellar though. His overall performance, he was he was he looked elite uh, to me. Um, yeah, he had one mistake. Lions defense was cooking to start the uh, to start the. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, 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 let's relax. Let's and relax. They, for the first half, they let up three points, bro. What? Well, it wasn't cooking. It was more missed opportunity. Like they weren't like no Terrence. world. Like they, they one they weren't full. Like DJ Reader didn't play. The think, was, they weren't all that. Like they were pretty average. I think if the Rams was hurting themselves more than the Lions were doing anything to them. In the first, in the first half, in, in, the, in the first half, I think Terry on Honor was uh, was great. I think uh, Carson Davis was great, and I do think um, Aiden Hutchinson was getting a lot of pressure. Um, and it, and it, and it, Terry Young had two PIs though that put him in inside the five. No, that was I, wasn't that was in the second half, right? Oh, we just talking first half. Seth? Yeah, I was talking about just first half. All second right, half, right. they they really uh they they kind of they fell off uh, badly. Um, they scored seventeen points in the second half. Um, but let's y'all you all think the uh, NFL should change the overtime rules in the regular season to to make it sh- where both teams get the ball? I don't, uh, yes, I, no, I, don't really, I don't think so. Jaden. I get the argument of like, if you want the ball, I wouldn't ball, have done it for the uh, postseason either. Like, I don't think if you have to go, to, if you have to bank on OT to win the game, then you shouldn't win the game. Like, I don't think they should have changed the rule in the first place. Interesting take from you, especially you know, with Josh Allen. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. If you can't win in a regular season, I mean, you no know, regulation then. And you banging on OT to get the ball, OT, and you hoping on a coin flip or whatnot. I don't think you really deserve to win the game. I think, I think, um, uh, for NFL's product for their ratings, they do it because you know, make the game more exciting. Both, both offenses get the ball for sure. Um, so I mean, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think they should do it. I, I will change it in the regular season. I don't see. I don't really see the difference between the playoffs and the regular season. You're gonna have the rule in the playoffs. You might as well have it in the regular season too. Um, yeah. I got a start bench Jay. cut. Oh, wait, Jay, oh my Jay, bad. Jay, 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 finish your thought. Jay, finish your thought. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I get that a lot of people say like, uh, if you want the ball back, you just get a stop. But I don't know. I just think it's more entertaining to see both of the teams. Uh, get the ball, and then it's already like that in the playoffs. So just it just makes no sense to not have it in the regular season. Like, what's what's the actual difference? There's there's just no difference, honestly. So yeah, let's okay. change that. Um, I got a start bench cut because Matthew Stafford's played this week, and honestly, his play over the last season and the playoffs last year. Joe Burrow's played last week, uh, which I mean, I I think I think you're gonna get to that in the overreactions. I, I think. Um, what are we doing, by the way? Is this is this going forward? Is it just for the season? Is this today? Like we gotta we gotta. Have this is today. This is today. I think we should just do today, right? I agree Fine. with that. Fine today. Okay, we got a start bench cut. Uh, start bench cut. Matthew Stafford, Justin Herbert, and Joe Burrow. In that order. Stafford, Herbert, Joe Burrow. Okay. What you what you think, Max? You know what I'm gonna do. I don't. I, I mean, I don't know what you feel about Stafford. I know what you feel about Joe. I know what you feel about Herbert and Burrow. Stafford, I don't Herbert, know. Herbert, Justin Herbert is my favorite quarterback in the NFL. Okay. He's been stayed on this podcast many times before. Uh, to be honest, Matthew Stafford is my favorite quarterback growing up in the NFL. I, uh-huh. Literally, I, I'm a Bears fan, and I love Matt Stafford. That shit kind that's of how, be crazy. That's how crazy it was. I literally, like, Matt Stafford was sick growing up. We always beat him, but it didn't matter. I'm going to start Justin Herbert, and then I'm going to Ben Stafford and cut Burrow. After that week, after week one, I, I there's I can't pick I can't pick Stafford over Burrow for going to the next week. Um, Burrow's got to do something else because it's been way too long. Um, I don't know what Burrow's doing, bro. Because last year it was like the whole injury thing, but I don't know. Yeah. That, and the but, that and- but it's tricky because the Pats the Pats are a good defense. Bad of an okay defense. They're just a shit team overall. So it's like they look like a bad team, but their defense is solid. They just they I don't, turn turnovers. I didn't think. I think him beating. Them. I think him beating Mahomes like really like. I ain't going to lie, bro. Like that's still that moment still like. I'm and I'm not saying bro isn't elite, bro. But I'm just saying like. What moment? I, tell me. Tell me what he did to beat Patrick Mahomes. Can anybody tell me how that game ended? Evan McPherson field goal. Nah, a pick that game ended on a pass from Mahomes pick six. Nothing Joe Burrow in the offense did. That game ended in OT with the first player, the, the second player overtime, a pick six to end the game. Nonetheless, it wasn't he beat Joe Burrow masterclass. Nonetheless, he beat Pat Mahomes and Joe Burrow is elite, but it's just like, bro, I don't, I don't feel comfortable cutting him. I don't feel comfortable cutting him. Um, man. And I like Herbert, I don't, but like Herbert, Herbert doesn't really have much. He, he doesn't have much to work with on offense, honestly. He doesn't have much. Um, situation is so key in this. Situation is so key when you look at these teams. Because, like, the Chargers do not have an offense geared towards Herbert. That's a running offense. Like, they're running yeah, the yeah, ball. Gus, Har- they, they got fucking horrible. Um, they got Gus. Uh, JK's on the Chargers, right? Yeah, yeah I'm one. just thinking if you if you switch the situations, if you give Herbert Cup and Puka, like is it different? Um, give Burrow. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'll probably say because I, I like Herbert. I'll probably say start Burrow, bench Herbert, cut Stafford, bro. I'm going to start Matthew Stafford, bench Justin Herbert, and cut Joe Burrow. Um, I understand Joe Burrow was dealing with injuries last year, but um, in the time he came back, he looked better in two games, um, shaking others. Um, I honestly don't think as much he does better than um, Joe Burrow. Um, people want to use the playoff success, but I think a lot of playoff success had a lot to do with his defense. Not saying he was terrible or anything like that. Um with his game, his actual game, I don't know what he does better than uh, Justin Herbert or Matthew Stafford. 
I think people would say he's oh. more accurate. He, people would say he's more accurate, but like he has, like, as far as like in the conversation with him with Herbert, people would say he's more accurate, but he has Jamar Chase and T Higgins and a, a better play caller and Zach Taylor um, or, or Bryce uh, Callahan or whatever you want to uh, say. Um, for the, for the Brian Callahan, though, my bad, not Bryce Callahan. For the future, like you do have. Stafford last for his age, correct? Like obviously, yeah. But but last. but Stafford, but, but Stafford is is a better player performer than both of them. Um, yeah, clearly. Got the ring. Yeah. No, but in in the in the in the the run, he was elite. Like in in his run, he was elite. Not and it, yeah, but like that was that was he his took only down run. Joe Burrow. That was his first time in the playoffs, though. Too that was the first time in the playoffs too. So that don't really matter. Uh, like I'm, um, huh? I don't think I'm, I don't know. About, I mean, no? both. I, both of these teams don't like Burrow. Don't got me. He got three, three playoff uh, appearances, and he's been good in basically one. He got two. two. One and a half. Oh, okay, well, two. I, I feel like um, Herbert like shit the bed against Herbert. Herbert should, I feel yeah. I feel like he gets flack for not making the playoffs, same with Burrow, vice versa. But like yeah, yeah. Like I'm not gonna hate on Stafford. So I'm not gonna say anything. But is that Jags game like? He's a he is for for real. Yes, I mean it was. He was a big part of the why he lost. I I, I don't know. He was. I, it was you could blame the defense, coaching, and Dennis Herbert. Or well, I don't. I don't. I, I, he wasn't a big like. If you if you had to put a put a, a like a percentage on it, I think he's no more than like thirty five percent because he just didn't do anything to help them win, but he didn't cost them the game. Yeah, I don't. Thirty five percent is thirty five for me. I think thirty five percent is a lot. There's only um, so many things to go. Like the defense, I probably say they get a forty percent. I think Brandon Staley. If we're going to do that and then Brandon Staley get another 40, I think he get 20 because he didn't do anything to elevate the team. But he, he just didn't – he didn't cost them the game. Like, he didn't do think, anything to lose them the game, but he didn't do anything to win them the game. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 so he, did miss that, go higher. he did miss that touchdown. It was wide open touchdown. He threw he, uh, overthrew it. Yeah, but that didn't, that didn't cost them the game. Like, in the grand scheme it of things, was, he missed that touchdown. I think it was – um, it would have made it a lot harder for them to lose that, for sure, I think. Um, so I'm not saying it cost him the game. I do think he was a, a, a he probably was the third biggest reason why they won. They lost that uh, game. The defense folded in the second half, but they also got them to lead in the first half. So it's like it's it's kind of tricky. Um, but yeah, that's my star bench cut. I think those are my four, five, six, in whatever order in the entire NFL. Anyways, for me. So did y'all um, talk about Dallas and the Browns? No, we didn't. Um, I mean. We we're about to do week one overreactions. I mean, you can talk about any team in that overreaction uh, thing that you want to overreact to them a little bit. Um, but let's get into week one overreactions. Anybody can start. I'll go. Um, since y'all didn't talk about the Browns, oh uh, man, Deshaun, 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 Deshaun. Uh, he may be like. <laughs> He may be bottom five quarterbacks in the league. Like he's like not good. Like, like his decision making got worse. Uh, his arm isn't what it used to be. Um, I, just, I don't even think this is an overreaction. Honestly, it's just on par. Now I did see something that his dad just died, so maybe that has something to do with his play. Um, but he's just not good anymore. Like. <laughs> He lost his talent on that on that on that massage table, bro. Like she, I, ain't gonna lie. she, I don't know, bro. I don't know. This is it's, it's just nasty, bro. I mean, uh, what's it was it was a pass to like Amari Cooper or something. I don't know what that was. Like he threw it into like triple covers. Like it's just the the decision making is not there. Um, the Browns defense is gonna have to carry them to um. To win any every each each and every single win, especially if you have Deshaun at the home. Um, I know a lot of people were saying that Jameis uh should like start or something. I don't know about that because Jameis is actually like not good either. So I don't know. They're gonna be they're yeah, gonna be better than Deshaun. I don't know, bro. No, I don't know. I don't know the last time we seen Jameis, he was better than what Deshaun Watson is right yeah, now. Jameis, I love I was. Him. James actually can't. Yeah, James yeah. actually can be better than Deshaun. That's not even like a high. I mean, that's that's not a crazy take. Could be to be honest. Oh um, uh, yeah. James is he's terrible. I don't. Deshaun Watson is Dander not a backup quarterback in the league anymore. I'm not even. Lying. Yeah, bro. It's like it just doesn't make sense because it's like one year. If we if we be honest, the Texans low key just fleeced. Like they ruined his reputation. They ruined him as a player. Low key. How does it? How does a year? 
How does a year it was, off? It was two years. Two years off. It was like a year, bro. It was a year. All right, all right. Just say two. Just say two. Cool. How do two? How does two years off just make you lose all all your talent? And then you you draft a phenom and CJ Stroud. Like you really don't lose any. You don't lose your stride. Like it, it just makes no sense, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how they go forward uh, with the season. Their season is uh, is actually over. I don't know, bro. Yeah, well, um, I shouldn't say it's over, but I'll get into mine nah. quick. And that is simply that Latif's hot take for the season about Bryce Young is completely wrong. Bryce Young stinks, and the Panthers stink. And there's nothing else to be said about that. <laughs> the Panthers are not going to beat the Saints in either game, either matchup. Um, yeah, man. You Bryce said, wait, wait, Latif, well, I, didn't, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear you. Any, I didn't hear you. I said my week one overreaction is that you're wrong. Bryce Young stinks. Oh, um, okay. I'm, I'm yeah. not mad at that. I was, I'm like, not mad at that. Again, 30, what, 37 to 3, something like that. Missing passes over and over and over again. 47 um, to 10. It was 47 to 10. Oh, there you go. You had a touchdown. I forgot. Um, almost 50 ball, though. That would have been crazy. Um, they put a lot of put a lot of money and time into that team this year on the offense side of the ball. Nothing looked like it changed. So uh, we'll see about week two. But I don't know. Like, that was – I, was I thought I was going to see some, see some sort of progression, but um, I saw nothing. So, now Bryce sucks. I can't lie. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I love my brother, but like, <laughs> gave it up after week one. Gave it up. He's, go- <laughs> he's going to the he's going on the bench. He's going on the bench. He's with K. Oh, he's with K. Club Nick right now. One more, one more reaction. I'll just buy into it. I was right about Sam Darnold, and they'll fight for a playoff spot. Okay, I guess maybe it's easy in the C. Probably not. Uh, T- terrible schedule. Terrible schedule. Yeah, I don't think I got a crazy overreaction, but I think people can now kind of temper their expectations on the te- the Texans because they were in a dog fight with the Colts, who I understand is a good team, but they Anthony Richardson missed three touchdowns. Like if he didn't miss those three touchdowns, they they blow the Texans out. Like. The, the conference is harder. Everybody in the division got harder. They have a hard schedule. Like they're not gonna just roll through the through the AFC. Like that's just not gonna happen. They they're not gonna roll through their division. Like every every game for them is probably gonna be a dog fight fight outside of like three games. I think people could just like just let it you know let things gel together because they still need time to gel. They still got major issues that they got to deal with. Ad Mitchell was getting in in the backfield. Well, not in the backfield. He was getting behind DBs like every chance he got. I, I don't know. Alex Pierce was getting back then. He's not really that fast. I mean, ARs, two people in this face launching 60 yard bombs. Um, things just like, feel me, let things settle. Let, wait till like week six, week seven before we start seeing who's really contested and who's not. All right. Uh, my reaction, I got a few of them. Um, my overreaction for week one is that the Broncos wasted a pick on uh, what's run. Oh, the Broncos wasted a pick on Bo Nix. Um, I don't think this that's is an overreaction. Not that's not true. Can he pick it 2.0? I don't think that's an overreaction, to be honest. I felt this way when they picked him. Um, there I were a number of play- about this, bro. Okay, we'll there were about na- there were a number of players on the board at number 12 that could have that are gonna be better than Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Is a one read merchant. He's a check down merchant. His arm talent is below average. His af- athleticism, average. Um, his ability to read the field, average. Everything about him is average. They spent a they spent a t- premium pick on a basically backup player. You can get that production from a backup player. There are not, there are probably like forty quarterbacks in the league right now that can do what Bo Nix did in Week One. He had like twenty six completions. For like 142 yards, he was terrible. Every time he threw the ball past the line of scrimmage, every time he threw the ball past 10 yards, it was a terrible pass or interception. Like he's terrible. They, that was a terrible pick. And Sean Payton is doing a terrible job in his in his um in his time in, in the Broncos. He wanted he wanted Bo Nix, and so the fact that you wanted him is terrible. You wanted to get off Russ, which is I understand that part, but like he has ever since Sean Payton has got to the Broncos, there's not one thing you could point out that was good. And someone proved me wrong. I need to know. He hasn't done anything. He ostracized Russ. 
uh, for week one, for when he first got there, he was being an asshole to Russ. He slept Bo Nix. This team's going to be terrible for a very, very long time. So that's my week one overreaction for, Bo that, Nicks, for that team. Bo Nix had that Didn't cool they just for 10? They just paid PS2. Like they did it that's just not, extend on that's not Sean Payton. Um, I mean, I he I don't know. Bo um, Nix had that cool spin move. Bro, I, I uh, what else do I got? I got I probably got like I honestly got three or four probably. Um, but I'll probably I mean you took my Bryce one. I was gonna say he sucks. I mean it's nothing else to say about him. Yeah, no, you don't um, get to say that one, buddy. You don't get to say that one. You made the claim, you don't get to say it now. Um another week one overreaction I have is I think the Lions are primed to make the Super Bowl. Um, as long as Jared Goff is able to play at a good level, he, they don't need him to be great, just good. This that roster is good it. enough. This this roster is good enough. They have a great O line. They have great weapons. Their defense looks like it's going to be probably a lot better this season um, as well. Um, J Mo is coming into his own. He has everything he needs for this team to make the Super Bowl and possibly win it. It's going to be all rest on the shoulders of uh, Jared Goff and um, Dan Campbell because his decision making got to be better. What up, um, Q? But, what up, Q? Yeah. Say what you gotta say. Say what you gotta say. Hey, man. You think, you think that's a crazy overreaction? Way too crazy. Uh, well, wait, Max, did you have the Lions in the Super Bowl? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, they don't make um, it less crazy. No, I was just I was just asking because I, when I when I made when I was thinking about my overreaction, I'm like, damn, Max did already had this. He Max had this as his take. <laughs> like this this overreaction is his take. You can um, laugh me all you want. Laugh me all you want, buddy. You took yeah. Bryce. Yeah, Bryce and Mike. I'm buying into Bryce this year. My hot take this year is Bryce Young. That was your. I'm not gonna lie, man. Bryce, hey, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Um, oh. Matt, uh, Jaden, did you say yours? Yeah, it was just Sean Watson. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. How many rookies do y'all want to do, bro? I don't know. We got to do this whole list. I don't know. I just no, want to say it's easy. easy. We can run through it. I, I just I want to talk about Everyone just pick one. Know. Everyone just pick one. Everyone pick one. Everyone pick one guy. Um, Everyone pick your rookie I, of the week. I'll go, well. with, I'll go with Jaden Daniels. I'll go with Jaden Daniels. Um, I think that – I think Jaden Daniels will be a fine QB. It's just first he needs to get Terry involved, and he just needs to, like, actually throw the ball. Um. Obviously, since he's a rookie, and when I feel like dual threat QBs have this problem, like they're not as comfortable when they come into the league with throwing the ball, so they just put themselves out there and run because they have the legs to do it. Um, obviously, he needs to learn how to slide, he's going to get himself killed out there. Um, it was he took a big hit, I think he took a big hit like early in it because he does this like weird tumble head first dive thing. So, he needs one, he needs to. Learn how to slide. Two, um, throw the ball. Like let, let the ball go. Throw it and get Terry involved. Cause I, I don't I don't even think he had many. Tar- I had to look at how many targets he had, but he didn't have a lot. Um, the com- the Commanders also need like a receiver outside of um, outside of Terry. Cause it's gonna be it's gonna be Terry and 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 Zach Ertz, but they need a wide receiver too. They got rid of Jahan, which I'm not gonna lie. Mistake. That's not really, Mistake. It's not really it's not really doing much, but um yeah. Daniels is gonna be fine. I, I want to talk about Bo Nix too. Bo Nix Bo Nix isn't Bo Nix was, was terrible, he was trash. Um he eyed down his receivers and when he when he threw the ball, the reads just just weren't good. Like it, it just it wasn't good. But that just shows you how ass the Broncos are. Like the QB room, Stidham, terrible. Um, Zach Wilson, terrible. Like I think Bo Nix could be a qual. No, I don't want to say quality, but he could be a. He can come. He can come in and be a decent quarterback if he just sat behind somebody halfway decent for like a year. Well, he's twenty five. <laughs> Like, why I know, bro. He was in college for he's he was in college for like my whole life, bro. Like he's been in college my whole life. But still, I think he he, he still needed to sit behind somebody. But they they just have fucking Stidham and Zach Wilson, bro. He's, he's like I don't know, bro. Product. He's a finished product. Um, um I let me hold on. Let, let's do this. Let's do this. I think we should just go through the go through the list and grade him because I mean I don't I, I, it's not that long of a list and just give a good quick grade. I th- I agree with you. I think we should just do that. Um. And if you want to talk about a specific rookie, uh, you can. We can do. We'll touch on it. Uh, it's fine. All right, let's grade some rookie debuts. Starting off with Caleb Williams. 
C minus. Oh, D minus. B B plus. <laughs> All right, <you> go. <laughs> no, I say uh, B, I think I, I say B plus because I like the I like the improv improv. I'm not even gonna try to say the word. It's too late. All right. Oh, I, 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 like how, I like. I like how he was improvising. You know, sometimes it didn't work. Obviously, he had a touchdown pass, and it just didn't, just didn't happen. Uh, I forgot that. I forgot that uh, pass at DJ that you were talking about. Uh, Q. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of good stuff that I saw. Really, I can't. I just have to blame the line for real, for real. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say B plus. You gotta win. It's hard for a rookie quarterback to come in and get a win, and he did that. He had oh, nothing yeah. to do with the win at all. He had nothing to do with uh, the yeah, win at cool. all. Yeah, cool. Still, he still won. He got, got it done. The only thing that keeps it from a D for me is not throwing a pick, one, and the throw on the run to DJ Moore, two. Only two bright spots of that. Kayla was F. I don't know. I don't know why we. Uh, he had 92 yards. He was nine for like. He was like nine for 22. He was terrible. I don't, I don't know what we're doing. 19 um, yards? 92. He had 92 yards passing. Thank you. Uh, he was terrible. Um, it was a performance. Next rookie up is Jaden Daniels. C plus. On the, I mean, running the ball, he did okay. I'll be, de- I'll be generous. B minus. He did yeah, get I'll two be- scores. He did have over two hundred yards of offense. He was much better. I Caleb. I don't know. Better, but that came late in garbage time. Really, really I'll, give- <laughs> I'll give it a, I'll give it a C. So Caleb was better than Jalen Daniels. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, not entertaining that. Uh, I'll I'll give uh Jaden Daniels a B minus as well. I think he was he was fine for for his his debut. Next quarterback up is Bo Nix. F. Yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible. I'll go D minus. There was F. no wow. There was no wow, and he lost. F. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's been. Multiple that Finn movie was sick. This Finn movie had was sick. Next rookie up, we got Marvin Harrison. Wasn't really his fault. I mean, I was I was watching. Yeah, all, was, he didn't win on. He didn't win. Like a lot of he people. Was in were, routes, you said F? He didn't win on all the routes. Like people were trying to make it seem like every every time he like lined up, he, he didn't was win all those routes. He did get. He was open on a wide open touchdown, but he also had a. Uh, an easy drop early on, so I can't yeah, grade him. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say D plus. D plus. D yeah, plus. He, he wasn't winning. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to say an F. I'll probably say like a D plus, C, C minus. I would say C minus as well. I think um, he won on some routes, and he he, he was open on that uh, touchdown. I think Kyle. One thing the the Cardinals were running the ball. A lot in the first half because the Bills were letting them. Um, so they ran the ball a lot. They were in a lot of uh you know, uh two tight end, three tight end personnel sets. So it kind of wasn't a, a need for to mark get more of the ball. Um, but I do think he won on a, a, a good majority of his routes. He did lose on some of them though. Um, he just wasn't getting the ball. Like Caleb Kyler wasn't looking his way. He got three targets. I don't think that was his fault though. Like, I don't think he was terrible. I think F is like terrible. I don't think he was terrible. Um uh, okay. Next. Generational wide receiver prospect, top five pick, getting four yards with a drop is nowhere near a C. Like nowhere near. Like that just don't even make sense. I said C minus. I mean that's that's close to D, and I I don't I don't think like, it was the, that letter shouldn't be used at all. I don't think it was his fault though. Can't be that. I, I don't I don't think it was his fault. Like, he's a wide receiver. He needs a quarterback throwing the ball. Um, sure. Next rookie up we got is Brian Thomas Jr. A minus, B plus, B plus, yeah, B plus. I really just, I probably just give it a B. Forty-seven yards in the score. Yeah, the touchdown was big. That, if he didn't have a touchdown, it would have been a good day. I think it was, was pretty good. Uh, I think I think it was pretty good. He also drew that the, uh, the pass interference where he uh, got open and I mean he kind of dropped it, but it was a pass I interference think that, too. I think that was big. more uh, Trevor Lawrence getting that P, uh, PI than Ryan Thomas getting the PI. Okay, like yeah. The ball purposely got thrown underthrown to draw the PI. Brian Thomas Jr. had nothing really to do with that. Um, I'll give him a I'll give him a B plus. He, he was pretty good to me, uh, especially from where he was drafted and the performance he had. He had a touchdown too. Um, next rookie up we got is Keon Coleman. Man, okay. Keon, 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 what a 
Hold on, hold on. I say about you, Keon. Really, bro? I'm gonna go give. I'm gonna give him a. I'm gonna give him a B plus. I'm gonna give him a B plus. Now, I mean, it wasn't like any elite separation because I feel like the routes that he that like he ran like he didn't really have anything to separate. Like he had like some curls. Uh, he sat in between. Uh, Josh zone. Allen missed him on two different touchdowns. Yeah, Just that too. That too. He's doing that. Then he get an A minus. That, that too. Yeah, that's, that's up to you. And he was yeah, what he was like four for four for five. Uh, he had that big. Uh, uh, what was that? What was that? Twenty eight yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so I mean, Keon, bro, what? Do, you what sound do like I an say? A plus to me. What do I say? What do I say? Yeah, it was. It was actually. Yeah, I'll probably say an A. I'll say A. I'll say A. I'm gonna say A minus. I think Keon was pretty good. Um, in his rookie debut, especially where he was drafted, his expectations yeah. and stuff like that. I'll give him A minus. Max. Me. Keon, sorry. Uh, yeah. I mean, what we'll, we'll try to say? I'm not surprised. A pl- no, I'll That's go with uh, I'll say, why would I be surprised? I've already been saying this from the start of the year. I don't know why we're shocked okay. about this. He's what been my know? guy for this division. Um, I think it's A minus B plus. I agree. Um, I'll go B plus. Could get a little more sometimes, but that would be better. Next, next rookie up is um, Malik Neighbors. Um, uh, he B plus. Has, like, yeah, yeah, to be honest, an A because he had Danny Jones, Danny Dimes, and he still was able to produce. Yeah, he, yes, yes, he has sixty-six yards. He, he has some some um, impressive catches. I, I can't remember what one I was like. What was the one I was like? Damn, Malik, you're so tough. Right. Oh my god, DJ is just terrible. Like it's, it's bad. Like, yeah, man, how much did they pay him? Like one sixty, one thirty, some crazy. He better than Deshaun Watson now. Um, they I would say, uh, I would say B plus for uh, no, I'll say A my A minus for Malik Neighbors. Um, kind of on the same type of type of thing as, as Keon Coleman. Um, last rookie we got is Joe Alt. A plus, a plus locked plus. up Max Crosby. What are we talking a plus, about? A plus, a plus, 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 A plus, man, looking like a, a great pick from uh, from Harbaugh in his first draft. Chargers uh, looking like. They literally got six locked, in, no doubt wins. They're gonna win ten games. They're making the playoffs. It's like this, this, I don't, this should be like a consensus thing, but people want to be so stupid. We'll it's see. Okay. We'll see. Um, let y'all the week two, uh, we two power rankings. Um, do y'all want me to just say my list, or do you want to get your 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6. We could do that. Um, you got your list, uh, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how should we? All right, let's do. Let's go down the list, and then we gonna make a. We gonna make a. Um, like a what's it called? Uh, damn. What am I trying to say? Cumul like a cumulative mm-hmm. list, like a, a collaborative oh. list. Uh, all right. My number ten team. I, I I got to choose between the Rams and Jags. I think the Rams look better a little bit. So um, I'm gonna say number ten is the Rams. I got the Rams. Okay, uh, Max. I mean not Max. Uh, Jaden. Rams and Jags, probably Rams. Yeah. Number nine, I have the Dolphins. I don't have the Dolphins right there. Who do you have? I got the Chargers. You have the Dolphins higher. What did you have the Dolphins? <laughs> did you have the? Uh, you, did you have the? Um, Dolphins better. I mean, the Chargers better than them coming to the league into the season. Better than uh, the Dolphins. Yeah. I, I got to make it a playoffs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jaden, Dolphins or um, Chargers? Well, I don't think the Chargers are better than the Rams, but I mean, um, Dolphins. Okay, Dolphins at nine. Um, eight. I have the Bills. We got the Texans. Texans, okay. Probably I can, I can understand Texans. it. Yeah. At eight. Eagles. Are you, no, no, no. I'm talking about oh. Jay. Jay, you are you taking the Texans as being a better team, or are you taking the Texans as being the eight? Texans as being a better team. Okay. Um. Wait, wait. Better team than who? Um. The Bills. 
Like from before the season or what you what you seen on Sunday? What I seen. I'm confused. What do you mean? They didn't look better than the Bills. They didn't. How did they not? How did they? I mean, the the Cardinals that their offense isn't spectacular, and they scored how many points did they score? It's not true. It's not true. They have a better quarterback, and the, literally the 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 Colts offense did not look good. Hmm. What are we doing here? No, I think I think the Cardinals are going to have a good offense. They would definitely. Will. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I just think that the Bills' defense isn't as strong as what you guys are trying to portray it as. I don't doubt. I, I take the Texans. By that same logic, neither the Texans' offense or the Texans' defense looked good at all. My my logic for it is I had the Texans over the Bills coming into the season. Um, I think the Bills did look look better. I would agree with that in Week One. But I don't know if it's enough for me to put them um, over them in the power rankings um, for me. That's a, that's my logic as far. I didn't as have them better than the Bills at all. I thought they were pretty much the same level of team. And I, was I mean, really our ranking is is, is really is literally week by week though. Like, but you can't like let's say let's say yeah, bro, it's, it's week by week. But it, by that logic, the Bills look better than them this week. So the Bills should be ahead. But that's not I, what you, you did. I mean, it's, it's, it's more than one week, right? When we do power rankings, uh, well, it's yeah, obviously. One, 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 oh, a win or a loss is like a tiebreaker. Based, on, it's like a tiebreaker when you're breaking down a team in the power ranking, because a team like, like, what's the team that lost? Like the Rams lost, but I still think they're better than three of the teams that won games. Like I still think they're better than the Dolphins. Like the win loss is like that's like the last thing I'm worried about with a power ranking. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So just just based off of majority, we have the Bills at eight. And at sevens, do we can we put the Texans there, or do you know how the Texans there either? Q. I had I had the Bills above the Texans. I know that. I'm saying. So what do you got? Oh, okay, okay. You got the Bills above the Texans. So you got a Tex, Bills at seven and the Texans at eight. I had, them, I, I had them at six. I think they were better than the Eagles too. I had the Eagles at seven. Oh, Eagles at seven, and you had the Texans at eight. Um, Jaden, what do you got? What do you got? The Eagles. Would you yeah. have the Eagles? The, the I, right I, didn't now, see, I didn't see too much of the Eagles to even like say. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh eight is gonna be Bills. Um no eight Bills sections. We're gonna put the Eagles at eight, Bills at seven, and, and Texans at six. Um they have Cowboys at five. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Four have Lions. Um, what you got? Q. Same. Three I have Ravens. Same. Uh, two I have 49ers and one I have Chiefs. Yeah. All right. Bro, the Ravens, the Ravens could like really go to the Super Bowl, bro. Like I actually I really think that they could win a chip this year, bro. Like the addition of Derrick Henry like literally just changes a, a, a lot for me. And I don't think yeah, Mark Andrews – Mark Andrews is not going – Hmm? We have to see it. I mean, he wasn't used He wasn't used properly. Um, he wasn't, but just having the threat of him lying back, back there, just I feel like that's – I shouldn't say that's enough, but that adds something to it. And, like, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't Mark Mark Andrews isn't gonna be uh that flat. I mean he only got target how many targets he didn't get targeted much. He only had two catches. He had to stay in and block because the old line couldn't block. Yeah, he was literally, literally just a, a left tackle. Like all right, so our week two, our week two power rankings, our week two consensus power rankings are gonna be number 10, the Rams, number nine. The Dolphins, number eight, the Eagles, number seven, the Buffalo Bills, number six, the Houston Texans, number five, the Dallas Cowboys, number four, the Detroit Lions, number three, the Baltimore Ravens, number two, the San Francisco 49ers, and number two, number two, number one is the Kansas City Chiefs. 
I mean, I, we had some disagreements in at the back half, but the, the top five was all the same. So, um, not the worst. Um, we get more clarity after we after week one, one into week three, basically. I mean, after week two, because it was a weird week for sure. Um, I almost wanted to put the Cowboys higher because they they killed the uh, they killed the Browns. I almost had them at four. Um, it's not enough talk on the Cowboys. Like this, this it's not. It's not. It's not enough talk on the. I've heard rookie left tackle, new center, no run game, only one weapon. And it sounds so much like last year. It's like they was able to win last year dominating, but somehow this year that with that same formula in the regular season, they weren't going to be able to win. And they was saying that same center game, the same center and same left tackle held up against a top five D line. And that same one weapon and Dak carved up the, the Browns defense. Like it ain't the numbers don't tell you that, but they Dak was comfortable the whole time. CD was fine. Brandon Cooks got a score. You seen Dak probably beat the blitz. Like this is regular stuff. Like this was gonna bound to be happening. People just use playoff play to try to use that as a dignification for the regular season, which those are two different Dak things. That's just in the regular season, bro. Like it's just like we we seen it before, bro. What that mean? He's a he's a great regular season performer, bro. He's he's Joel and B game. Not even. I would say Joel B. Yeah, Joel B is much better in the regular season. I, I don't know how he Yeah, that's what I said. Not even. But he's just a regular season performer, bro. He folds in the postseason. I mean, you, you know what you can do. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that don't matter when people are st- Going around, oh, he folded the regular season. That means they're gonna win eight season, eight games in a regular season. That it just doesn't correlate. You never who see you, that just lose games. Who do you have? Who do you who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you see saying that they're gonna win eight games? Hmm? Who do you see? A lot of TV. A lot of TV people got them missing the playoffs and winning eight nine games. Crazy stuff. That was episode 112. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of content coming out. I don't know how I'm gonna drop this episode. I'm thinking about dropping segments and then dropping the episode later. I don't know yet. Um, we got we gotta switch some stuff up. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in if you made it this far and subscribe to our YouTube channels, YouTube channels, our social media uh, pages at the top of the screen. And we are out with a longer episode.